Good morning. I'm Selena Travers, the elementary advisor at Greenville Christian School, and this is the 100th day of school at Greenville Christian. Today, we are having Mad Scientist Day. In each of our classrooms from pre-K through sixth grade, our students will be experiencing uh, four to six different experiments in each of the classrooms, and today you're going to get to see some of those experiments. Have a good time. So tell me, what are you doing? Tell me how many snacks and what number are you trying to get to? 100. So everyone, it's a 100 day. Everyone's going to have a bag of 100 snacks. What number is it? from Greenville Christian School and can somebody tell me what is so special about today? We have been in school for what, Jackson? 100 days. 100 days, which means we are 100 days smarter, right? Yeah. So we're having Mad Science Day and you've come to my room and we're going to talk about chemical reactions. What happens when we mix things together? They okay? do something. They do something, okay? Sometimes they All kids think that they're going to do what? 
Yeah, yeah they're going to explode. We're not going to explode anything, but we are going to do some two really cool science experiments. Ooh. So when you have a chemical reaction, every chemical reaction needs what we call a catalyst. You say that word? Catalyst. So I want you to turn to the person sitting next to you. And what do you think a catalyst might be? What do you think a catalyst is? I don't know. All right, I need one boy to raise his hand. Tell me, what do you think? What's a catalyst? What's your definition? A boy. Okay. Um, a science person. Maybe it's a science person. Okay, do I have a girl? That can tell me, what do you think a catalyst might be, Anna? It might be like a, a, a um, what is it? Um, a cycle. Okay, very good. What do you think it is? I think it's probably a reaction. It's the reaction. Well, I'm going to tell you what it is. A catalyst is the thing that you add to get the reaction. Okay? So we're going to divide into two tables. So when you're doing a science lab, there's some safety things, okay? Number one, you don't know what kind of chemicals are being used, so you never touch it and then touch your mouth, touch your eyes, or touch your face, okay? I'm not using anything today that's dangerous, but we need to learn lab safety. You never put your face directly over your science experiment, okay? Um, Eden and Cooper, you might want to come closer so you can see. Okay, so <clears throat> inside this bottle, we have vegetable oil. Have you ever used vegetable oil at your house? Yes. Okay, it's what mom would use to cook with or to fry with. Okay. Bottle, or you didn't get water. Would you carefully pour a cup of water into your water bottle? What do you think is going to happen when they water? What do you think? No, it's not going to explode. You think it's going to? We always think science experiments are going to flood. No, they're explode. not. Okay. So once they pour one water bottle or water into the bottle, pour the other cup. So we've noticed that it makes bubbles. We noticed that in the last lab that it makes bubbles. Why don't we have one? Because we're all doing one together. That's why I wanted y'all to kind of move over here. Okay. Kind of like a team? Kind of like a team, yep. Oh, it gets bigger and it gets more bubbles. Okay, so the water, I mean, the contents in your bottle are going higher. Okay? Now, what do you notice about the water, the oil and water? It makes it bubbles. It, it makes bubbles. What else? It's getting higher. It's getting higher in the bottle. What else? It went under. It went through the oil and it went to the bottom and what did the oil do? It flowed. Also, any type of oil, gasoline will also do the exact same thing. Because it's going to add some food coloring to your um, oh, yeah. water bottle. See what this looks like. I want you to notice where it goes. To the bottom. It goes to the bottom. But it sits on top of the water. It sits on top of the water. Good job, Barrett. Now I'm going to take your water bottle and I'm going to kind of swirl it. Let's see. If it changes. Let's see if it changes. We kind of want to yeah, aggravate it in here. Like the last one? Let's kind of put this on top. So we can like for real shake it. Oh! oh it looks like the water is turning red, but it oil like the okay, so same color. John Barrett so noticed awesome. that the water turned red, but the oil didn't. It looks like the it's a volcano. Kind of this like, is the crust. This is the lava. There you go. I like that. Layers of the earth. All right. Well, we learned one thing. Water and oil don't mix. The food coloring mixes only with the water. Well, we are going to make a chemical reaction. How many of you have ever seen a lava layer? Have you seen a lava layer? Okay, tell me about your lava layer. What is it? Uh, it's green and it has a chalkboard, so I can learn math and do whatever I want to do at home. And what is the cool thing that your lava lamp does? It kind of bubbles. Yes. All right. There's a uh, baseball. Or just okay. Radiation. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this into a lava lamp. So we have to make something happen inside this solution. So what did we talk about earlier? What do I have to add to this to make a chemical reaction? You have to add another. You have to add eight. What's that weird word? 
Um, What's the word word? A, 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 a catalyst. Exactly. We have to add a catalyst. A catalyst is what you add in order to get a chemical reaction. So it's chemical reaction. Watch it. I know it's, it's happening. It's, it's dissolving into it's dissolving, bubbles. But what's happening it's, to your... It's bubbling. It's bubbling. So what's happening to that colored water and it's, stuff? It's mixing. It's it. mixing. And you've now created a chemical reaction. And it's yeah. smoking. Because you added a catalyst. Put another piece in there. It'll even bubble more. Oh, it's starting to mix into it. Can we do yes, all of them? We're going to do all at once because it really won't do much different than what it's doing now. So let that one sit for a minute and watch your lava lamp. I'm into it. That looks cool. Yeah, put another one Let me go look at, oh, look. Oh, wow, look at theirs. Look, buddy, look. Oh, that's because it's different stuff in there. That's Well, that's pretty cool with water and... and and um, oh. alcohol cells, though, huh? Wait, look at that. Bubbles forming at the bottom. It looks like a little. Does anybody know what yeast is used for? Just put it inside the bottle. This is what you would use to make what? Spices. You can make spices. Bread. You can make bread because it, it's the thing that causes bread to rise. Inside this bottle is not water. This is hydrogen peroxide. So cut open. This oh. science experiment, I have a little story to tell you. So I have a friend that works in a zoo. And he's the zookeeper of the elephants. Okay? And they have an elephant in the zoo. His name is Bruno. But Bruno has a huge fear of the dentist. He does not like to go to the dentist. Well, they finally was able to get Bruno to the dentist. Okay? But when they got Bruno to the dentist, number one, the chair was not big enough for Bruno. The toothbrush was way too tiny. And that tube of toothpaste that they used, it was way too small to clean an elephant's tooth. Because I want you to show me with your hands, how big do you think just one tooth for an elephant would be? It'd be about this big, don't you think? I oh, want yeah, you to think about your little tube of toothpaste at home. How many tubes of toothpaste would it take to clean a mouthful of elephant teeth? One hundred. It would come well, They'd ask us to see if we could create elephant toothpaste, and we're going to create elephant toothpaste. Oh, okay. Oh gosh. And in order to do that, we're going to have to create some kind of chemical reaction. And if you're going to have a chemical reaction, what do you have to add? A catalyst. Catalyst. Right. Now, an elephant. When we clean, when we brush our teeth, what is the whole point of brushing your teeth? Get oh, them clean. clean. Well, an elephant's a little bit different. Um, he's gonna, we've got, those teeth are huge. Okay, so we've gotta really clean it. So we're gonna give him some dish soap um, to clean his teeth. So I want you to look at that and decide did anything happen when I add the dish soap? Yeah. Did you see any changes? Yeah. Your color has changed the color. Lighter in the is the hydrogen peroxide and the dish soap mix? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So we want to create a what? A chemical reaction. reaction. In order to have a chemical reaction, we must add a catalyst. You're going to very carefully, this cup is kind of wobbly. I'm going to add it for you. We're going to add the yeast to our water bottle, and I want you to see if you've created elephant tooth. Well, it's coming up! It's arriving! Do it slowly. Jeez, 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 Good job. No, it just okay. made elephant tooth. Let's see what happens. Whoa! What's happening? It's rising! You may go look at your friends, but you may not touch it and you may not turn it over. 